evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 7 of this SS Normandy tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the boat deck superstructure, bridge wings, maybe the wheelhouse and maybe some other sections of the superstructure as well. There is still quite a bit to go, uh, but the main focus today will be the boat deck. If we just swing around over here you can see uh, the boat deck is what I just mentioned, you've got the, the wheelhouse just over there. There's also deck houses that support the funnels as well, they will be added, they'll either be added today or the next video. So the main, uh, the, yeah. So the today's the main focus will be the the boat deck, but uh, if I get time, we'll try and get the rest in as well. So if it won't be this video, it'll be the next video for the rest of the superstructure. So um, don't worry too much. Right. So first of all, we're going to fly over to the uh, front wall of the superstructure we built in part six. So we've got this curved wall here with this square section here. Uh, remembering that this is the high point of the deck as well, because we've got the boat deck over there which is two blocks lower than this this section here, remember that. This will be tidied up uh, a bit later on because I did do a, a bit of measuring and it, uh, it's all fine so I don't need to worry. Right, so go back to the uh, front wall which is this one here, got the square wall here. Find the centre block of the deck which is that one there and you're going to go to the 13th block back. So that's the first block there and you're going to go to the 13th back which is th that one there. So on that 13th block we put our white block. So that's 13th wood block back that's your centre block there, and you're going to build this wall uh, 13 wide. So that's what's that? Seven? No, six other sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six other side of that. So that's 13 wide. And then working on the left-hand side for the minute, we're going to build uh, a row of five out. So one, two, three, four, five, and then four. One, two, three, four, and then three. One, two, three, and then two, and then two, and then two again. And then change the direction, we're going to build three, one, two, three that way, and then four, one, two, three, four, and finally one like that. So that attaches to that uh, back wall like that. So uh, that is how that should be. And we'll just focus on the front section for this for the moment, and then what we do, we'll move on to the next section, which is on the lower section. So that's that bit. So I'll just do the other side. So what is it? It's five this side, so one, two, three, four, five, then four, one, two, three, four, then three, one, two, three. And then two, 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 and then three, one, two, three that way, and then four, one, two, three, four. Finally, one like that. Right, there we go. Right, so what we're going to do now is the uh, all of the walls, you're going to increase them to three blocks high. So I'll start at this end and just increase everything to three high. So basically just add another two blocks on top. Three high. all the way around there we go that's all increased in height so that's three high all the way around and now what we go go to now is the front wall which is the 13 high uh, 13 wide sorry going to increase that to four high so we're going to add an extra line of blocks on top like so so it's 13 like that and then around the back edge from this block here we're going to build the bridge wing so it's going to be three rows of five so we're going to go one two three four five which is basically the same as the row uh, the section below so it's the first five one, two, three, four, five, that's the second one, and then one, two, three, four, five, that's the third. As you can see, it's starting to build uh, outwards and over. So that's three rows of five like that, and then you want uh, three rows of four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Just double check that, so it's four, 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 like that, that's fine. And then you want two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then three rows of two, so it's one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. Change the direction now, we build backwards, we build three back, so one, two, three like that. Yeah, one, two, three, and then two, one, two like that. So now we're starting to build back inwards again, so you can see you've got the three back and then the two like that. And then you want two back towards the centre, so you build two like that. And then uh, three, one, two, three. And then on the inside, we're going to start on this way again, we're going to go three again, so one, two, three like that. So you build two like that and then three and then you build three on the inside edge 
so the uh, shape of the uh, bridge wing is like that you can't really see it from this angle but uh, there you go shape of it like that so you got that row of three like that and then you want two rows of four so one two three four one two three four and then uh, a row of three one two three like that and that attaches to uh, the uh, foundation or basically back to uh, where we were before so um, there you go that's the shape that's the, that's the uh, outside edge of the bridge wing it's shaped like that kind of like uh, an ear to the uh, the rest of the superstructure looks a bit weird but uh, don't worry so I do the same on the other side just to waste a bit of time so I yeah, want a bit uh, three rows of five this side so one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five uh, three fours one two three four one two three four one two three four two rows of three one two three one two three and then two 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 and then back uh, three, one, two, three, and then two, two, change of direction, two in, and then three, one, two, three, on this edge we do three again, one, two, three, and then uh, four, one, two, three, four, four again, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and there we go, that's both sides of the bridge wings done, so there we go, that's that little job done, um, so yeah, that's uh, half of the job sort of done, so you get an idea of a uh, how wide the uh, upper superstructure is going to be. Alright, so that is that little job done. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I do a bit more measuring, because now we're going to move on to the next section, which is on the section below, you know, on the uh, boat deck down here. So I shall return in just a moment. Okay, back again. Now we're going to move on to our next phase of the boat deck superstructure. Now actually moving on to the boat deck. Um bit of complexity here it's, it's fairly simple to look at but it's well I say it's fairly simple anyway uh, what we're going to do now we're going to go to the uh, actual boat deck which is uh, the two block down lower section you've got the bridge wing there so we're working on the left hand side so that's the back of the bridge wing where the bridge wing reattaches to this pillar here we're going to go to the bottom block of that pillar now on the boat deck and we'll start from this point here so that's where we're going to start building we're going to build the, br uh, the boat deck superstructure walls uh, these are quite long. They are going to be 277 blocks long. That's 277 blocks long. So I'm working on the left-hand side. So what I'm going to do, I should use World Edit to measure it while I build it. So I'm going to do it freehand. Um, build it up and then copy it to the other side. Just to save a bit of time. So that one there is block one. And I'm going to build the 277 blocks long. So bear with me when we do this. This may take a while. So may want to fast forward this but this will go in two phases well I might as well uh, point this out because we're going to raise this up when, once I get to the end uh, well I build the curve wall at the end as well this wall has got to be raised up but it will go in two phases uh, the bottom five sections will be f well the bottom sections will be five high uh, and then the top row will be slightly different because it's going to be it's gonna, the walls are going to be six high um, but uh, the top row is going to be slightly different to the bottom row, so we'll, I'll explain it when we get there. Just see how far we've got. We've got to 208, so we're nearly there. So I've just got a little way to go. How far is that? That is 255. That is 277, so that's 200. <laughs> And 77 blocks long. Is that really 277? Can't be, can it? I'll just measure it again. So we'll fly over to the other end and I shall measure it. Alright, back to the front wall, which is that one. That's number one. As it says at the end of that pink sentence in brackets. Fly to the other end. Just want to make sure because I was uh, riveting on a bit. So that was number one. And then number two, or number 277 should be that one. And yeah, 277, so that's absolutely fine, so don't worry. Right, so that's the 277. And at the end of that 277, we'll build the curved wall. So it's going to be uh, a row of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and then two rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then uh, two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, and then two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then three rows of two, so two, 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 and then two that way, 
and then three, one, two, three that way, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, and then a coloured centre block to mark the centre. That should line up with the other coloured centre block further back. So just make sure. And yep, there you go, there's the colour block below. I'll actually put one there as well. So we've got the colour blocks there and it lines up with the one I just built. So that is absolutely fine. Alright, so we've got the 277 all the way around to the side here. Uh, well, from the 277 all the way around. So the next job we want to do is increase it to... Actually, we'll go from the row of 7. So from the row of 7 round to this centre block here. We're going to increase it to 6 blocks high. So we'll go for this row of 7 here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'll increase it to 6 high from this point all the way to the center. So we'll just use, well did it for this, so set, uh, what was it, quarter, like that. And then do the same again all the way around, because this is what takes the time. Mouse wheel not improving either. Um, so same again down to there. There's gotta be a better way of doing this. I'll do it freehand for the minute. And back to the world did it. And there we go, that's the uh, walls will increase to six high. I'll just put another coloured block at the top there so I can see it in the distance. Alright, so that's the back walls all increased to six high. Now from the uh, the row of two seven seven which we built here, this will be increased to five high. So I'll increase that to five, so two, three, four, five. So it's one block lower than the rest of the section we just built. So increase this all to 5 high. So I shall go from back to front. And then we shall do the top row. The top row's got some overhang sort of um, balconies to go on. But so uh, we'll get to them in just a second. So we'll just increase this all to 5 high down to that point or that point. Setting quartz. And there we go. That's all increased in height all the way back to the other edge. Right, there we go. So that's the... Uh, that side wall all done. Now for the overhangs, we're going to go to the back end or the, or the first block of the uh, of the two seven seven, which is that one there. Oops, I deleted it. So from that block there, we're going to add a row of six along the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six like that, and then we build two out. God, that's a loud motorbike just gone by. Right, so that's two <laughs> two out like that, and then let me just read this to make sure I do it right. Uh, and, yeah, and then we build side 8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then back in like that. So this is the overhanging sort of balcony sort of thing. Uh, and when the deck is added, it will fill in this gap here. The deck will sit on top of this wall here, like that, and it will um, we'll fill in the rest of the deck as well. So that's the first overhang, and there's five of these. So that's the first one, and they're all separated by 28 blocks, so I'll build another... 28, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So that's 28. And then we build the next one. So 1, 2 out. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 2 in like that. And that's your second one. And then another row of 28. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 28. And then same again, build out 2. And then 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then back in 2. Like that. So that's 3. And then you want another... That's 3 sections. Then you want another 28. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And then you want to build out 2 again. And then 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then back again 2. So that's 4 sections, 
And then for the fifth and final, we just want uh, well, another 20, 28 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So that's another 28. And then out 2. And then back 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then back in 2 like that. So that is your 5 overhangs. So you've got 1 over there. 2, 3, 4, 5. And then from this fifth one, you just add a line of blocks all the way back to connect to the six high sections over there. So just add the line of blocks all the way back to connect to the rest of the uh, superstructure back there. So build all the way back. There should be, uh, well, if there wasn't another deck house that connects to the side wall here, there would be more overhangs, but uh, there isn't. So the next overhangs that will go on the ship would be one deck higher. So don't worry about that. So just build this line of blocks all the way back to what we had before oh, there we go up to that point and there we go that is all now increased in height I just fly over to the prototype so you understand what I was on about we just fly all the way over get a bit of lag going why not and what we do you can see here we've got the overhangs here so you've got the deck on top there and you've got the overhangs out the side here like that so that's this is the fifth one, and then it goes back along here. And then you've got the deck house here, which sits on top of the outside wall. And then above that, you've got overhangs on top there. So you've got two more overhangs, but they will go on this top deck house, uh, which are around funnel number three. So uh, that's what the uh, overhangs are all about. All right, so we'll come back to them later on. So what we're going to do, we'll fly back to our build. And what I've got to do now is to copy and paste or copy, flip and paste the other side. So basically, what we've done, what we've just built, just should to be copied and flipped to the other side. So, once again, if you're using a console, I do, do apologise. But uh, this is what takes, well, it's gonna, what, what usually takes the time. So, I should copy from that point, and then we'll copy, flip and paste. And then I fill in the deck. And just fly down to the back end. That's from the bottom block, wasn't it? Yep. So I go up and copy to the to the top block here, the red block. So copy to that one. And what do we do? We do copy, flip to the right, and then we paste. And there we go. That's both sides done. I want to take off. There we go. All right. So there we are. That is the upper deck. Well, I'd say the boat deck superstructure partially done. <laughs> And uh, that is how it should look. So we just fly up to the front end. Well, not to the front end, but uh, up to a certain point. So I just want to make sure all the lines are in place. And, uh, yeah, that's fine. Before we move on to the next section, I'm sort of thinking what to do here, because this is now sort of an eyesore. What you can do is remove this one line of blocks, or remove a line of blocks here, up to the edge like that. like that and then just add a white wall along like that or if you want to you can now make it um, you can build it all the way up to the top say build the wall all the way up like that and have it as a separate, a separate section so you have your um, well not up, not quite that high but uh, up to say about four high or three high add three blocks on top to make it a sort of separate room if you want to but I'll just build it across for the minute as a single or two block high section just to sort of give this a straight edge because uh, what there is at the moment is a bit uh, of an eyesore so just straighten this whole edge off like that so we've got that that's all straightened off and like I said if you just want to make this a separate room here just build it up another three blocks and I use welded it to uh, use the quartz to fill that in so use set quartz and there we go it's made it a separate section it's a separate room now and uh, yeah, it didn't look too bad, but the deck, once you add the deck on top, it will uh, it will all be one, so you won't see it from above. Right, so now what we want to do is to add the wooden deck. And if you're at the front of the ship, then your wood deck will go along the top line of white blocks like that. All the way out to the bridge wings. So like that. And then the deck will go all the way back to the top line at the back end of the ship. And as I explained, 
the uh, wood decking will go into the grooves of the uh, overhangs there. So what I'm going to do, I shall stand on this block here and I shall use the fill tool. So fill uh, wood 300 and this may take a while because it's quite a large area we've got to cover. So just filling in the deck and it should all be done in a few moments. This could go wrong, I don't, I'm not sure. If I've missed a block somewhere it will go wrong but uh, it don't look too bad. I think that's all worked. And there we go, that's the deck all added. And so you've got the bridge wings now filled in as well. So underneath you've got the uh, bridge wings like that. And uh, it don't look too bad, do it? So you've got the overhangs there. So when you're walking along the deck you can look up and that's how it would look. Yeah, it don't look too bad. So I'll just fly down to the back end, make sure all the wood is in the right place or, or all filled in because sometimes this doesn't always work first time and I think there's yeah there's a small gap at the end so that just needs filling in so we nearly got to the end so I just put a block there and use the fill tool again there we go that's the rest of it all filled in and that is the uh, well, the boat deck superstructure part well partially done so we've got that deck out of the way so we're going to fly back to the front end again apologies for this and we'll start with our doors and windows um, this is one of those jobs I really hate, but hey ho, never mind. Alright, so what I'm going to do, we're on the sides here, so we're on the boat deck, along the sides here. What I normally do, and what I've done on the prototype, is actually we'll select a door. We need a door, don't we? we need a door, get a door. Um, and what we want to do is do three block high windows, uh, two blocks apart. Say, so do five of those. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. Make it six. So you've got six windows like that, and then in between you want a pair of doors. Door there, door there, and then after that, another five windows like so. so that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then another group of doors, or a pair of doors. And then what you want to do is just copy that all the way <laughs> along the side up to the curved wall. And um, it should all look fine. So you can interpret this however you want. I mean, this is just a random thing I normally do. The real ship probably had different layout of windows. But there's so few photographs of the area. Because if you ever get a, a, an aerial photograph or a side view of the ship, you've got the lifeboats in the way. So it's really difficult to see um, what the boat deck details were like. So this is just something I've made up as I go along. So it's six windows, door, six windows, door and then six windows, door, so on, all the way down the side, so that is what I've done so far, but uh, I will f uh, c continue with this uh, between now and the next video, so I, w I won't worry about this too much but uh, that's pretty much it for now on that department, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do another jump cut um, because I've got to do a bit more measuring and uh, writing things down, so I shall return once we've done that and we'll move on to the next phase, so uh, back in a moment Okay, back again. Now I've done all the measuring and writing down of the next phase. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down to the bridge area of the ship and we're going to build the ship's wheelhouse. Now this will be the only section of the top superstructure I'm going to do today. So it's going to be the uh, the ship's wheelhouse as well as the support for funnel number one. Uh, the rest of the superstructure on the top will be done in the next part because I don't want to get too far into this. And... Uh, screw it up. Now, there's also a, a piece of superstructure on the back I will do today. So once I've done this bridge and the, and the funnel support there will be a small uh, raised deck at the stern so we'll focus on that in a moment. Right so but first I have got to correct this small area here. There seems to be a, a wood block missing here so I'll delete that and put a wood block back. That's just a small correction on my part. Don't worry too much. Right so on the uh, front part of the bridge deck we're going to build a line of 13 across the front, so basically increase the height of the front wall to uh, and we'll buy an extra block, so that's that 13 front wall there, increased in height by one and then the next two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, like that and then you want a row of three, one, two, three, like that so that is the front wall, I'll do the same on the other side so we do one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, like that and that is the front wall of the boat of the uh, bridge deck and then for the sides there are going to be 30 so that's 
three zero so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty so that's your side wall which is thirty and then you want to build uh, inwards twelve so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then forward three one two three like that so the, the uh, front wall is like that and you got the side of 30 in was 12 and then forward three so I do the same on the other side so we do the row of 30 we do 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 Yep, and then you build inwards 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then forward 3, 1, 2, 3, and then join them across the back like that. And it should have a sort of weird shape like that. Right, so now what we do, we fly back to the front end, and what we're going to do, we're going to build a group of 16 windows. Now I'm just trying to think, do, does one go on the centre block, or do they go either side of the centre block? So bear with me a minute. So on the centre, I just build it up two like that with a uh, a pillar like that. And so there should be eight windows either side. So I put one window there, which is uh, each window is two blocks high, by the way. So that's one window, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight like that. So there's eight windows that side, and then eight this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight so each window has got a gap between them so that's just 16 windows and then we fill in the spaces between them like that and also the pillar at the side so do the same on the other side as well just in add the gap in between Like that. So there you go. There's your 16 windows all sorted out like that. Right now, so the next job is to increase the height of the walls. Now the, the walls from the 30 around the back up to the other side are going to be uh, four high. So that's two, three, four high like that. So increase them to four high all the way around. Just well it for this. So from there down to there, we use the set quartz that one, and then across the back as well. And then along the side bit there. And then across the back there. Get a bit of stutter with the uh, mouse at the moment. The mouse is a bit stuttery. I don't know what's going on with it. Up to there and then down the other side. So it's all increased in height to four blocks high. So that's the full height of the bridge wing. Uh, not the bridge wings, but the bridge uh, wheelhouse. And then the last job is to add the white line across the top of the windows like so basically bringing this up to four high as well like that and there's your wheelhouse almost done so it's, that's how it should look there's a big box shape like that and then on the inside we add the deck so like on the previous decks we use uh, we, we uh, build the wood deck along the top line of the white blocks all the way back and uh, it should all look fine. So I'll start here and stand on this block and use the fill tool. And there we go. Just get rid of that block in there. And there we go. That's all the uh, wood decking added there. And uh, it's basically a roof and it should all look something like that. So it's quite a large wheelhouse. Uh, but uh, hey ho, there we go. So there you are. There's the uh, wheelhouse done. And if you want to, you can start adding doors and windows to it as well. But uh, I won't bother too much. I'll add a couple of windows. I'll add a window there. And then cut a couple of holes there for doors. I haven't got the door selected, which I should. There, so I put a couple of doors there. And then a couple more windows down the side. And there I do. So we are. There's your wheelhouse doors, windows all on our side. And really at the end there we can add another door. Put another door there. And replace that block that I demolished there. Alright, so there we go. There's the one side of the wheelhouse done.
I'll do the other side another day, so don't worry. That is how your, or roughly how your wheelhouse should look. All right, so just change the page on my notes, and we're going to move on to the next little job, which is the funnel support. Now this goes right behind. Uh, and attaches to the uh, back end of the of the wheelhouse. So I'll go to the be behind the wheelhouse, and where you got the uh, row of twelve going inwards. So you got the end of the thirty here, and there's the row of twelve there. So at the end of the thirty on one side. So I'm on the left hand side here. So you go. Uh, we're going to go to the fourth block in. So one, two, three, four, at ground level, and we'll start building there. So at the end of the thirty there, build to the fourth block in, and you're going to build. Um, a line of 21 so that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 so that's your line of 21 and then you want um, two rows of five so 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 um, and then two rows of four 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and then um, a row of three 1 2 3 and then two rows of two 2 2 and then a two, a block of two that way, and then four, one, two, three, four, um, and then one centre block at the end. So that's a coloured block there. So that marks the centre line. I do the same on the other side, may as well. So um, at the end of the third, you go one, two, three, fourth block in. Add the twenty-one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one. So that is the. 21 roughly and then we build the two rows of five one two three four five one two three four five two rows of four one two three four one two three four and row of three one two three two rows of two 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 and then two that way and then the four one two three four and that marks or lines up with the center line there so that is the funnel support or the base of it and then the next job you want to do is increase it to five high so from the first block of it, we do two, three, four, five, and as you can see, it's one block higher than the uh, bridge wheelhouse. That's not a problem, uh, no problem at all. So what we'll do and increase the height of all the walls around the uh, area here. So use the set quartz tool, and because it's on a curved wall again, it makes it very difficult to use world edit. Why can't the French build straight walls instead of having curves everywhere? I don't know, the French for you. I suppose it's the same with all ships though, everything's sort of curved, but uh, well in modern days anyway, but uh, never mind. The French started it, everyone has to copy. Right, that's one side done, all increased in height, so I should do the same. Well, I won't do the same. What I do, I use copy-paste because I'm lazy. So uh, you copy from there to there. Stand on the middle, roughly there. Do copy, flip to the right, and then we paste to there. Right, there we are. That's the uh, both sides done, all increased in height. And then for the front wall, or basically the back wall of the... Uh, of the um, the wheelhouse where it attaches to the uh, funnel support we just add a line of blocks across the back around the uh, square area here then up to the other end where the uh, funnel support is there so it's basically just creating a uh, a front wall of the funnel support like that and that is how that should look and then for the roof it's going to be grey wool which is oh, it's already grey wool there uh, and then you just add the grey along the top line of the white in the funnel support. Like so. so just build, add the white, uh, the grey wool all the way from the front end to the back end. So I just use the uh, magic tool again. So use the fill tool, which is fill. Damn, not that one. You want to do is fill. Uh, it's 35 slash 35 colon 7 300. And there we go. That's the. Uh, wool all filled in there. So that's the roof of that deck house which is basically the funnel support supports funnel number one over there and uh, that is it for that area so that, that's all I'm going to do for the, uh, the the superstructure for today or the top of it anyway to so the funnel support number three and number two will be added in part eight 
I don't want to get too far into this uh, and mess it up. So that's all I'm going to do for that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to fly to the back end, because this is something I should have done earlier, but uh, I forgot to do it. So we're going to go to the back end of the uh, of the boat deck. So we've got the boat deck here, and you've got this back wall here. So this is the top superstructure which we built earlier on. And you've got this back wall of seven, like here. So you've got the seven wall there, and then next to it you've got a row of four, which is yeah one, two, three, four. So we go to the first block of the four, which is this one here. So you've got the seven there, and then the four. And you go from this block here down to the ground level, which is here. And then you're going to build using quartz or any white material you want. Um, you're going to build uh, back seven. So we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I double check that again. So you've got a seven row there, and you've got the four, end of the four there, down to ground level, and then build back seven like that. And then you want to build out. Uh, and you want to try to work this out. So you build out six from there. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's seven back, six out. <sighs> and then forward four. One, two, three, four. And then out to the side two. One, two, like that. Just making sure I do this right, and then you'll be back 28. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So that's 28 like that. And then you want a row of 5, so it's another curved wall, so it's 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 3, 1, 2, 3, and 3 again, 1, 2, 3. And then three rows of two, so two, two, two. Um, and then two across. And then three, one, two, three. And then three again, one, two, three. And then a coloured centre block like that. And as you can see, that lines up with the coloured block further forward and further back as well. So that is that design. That's half of it anyway. And you just want to do the same on the other side, effectively. So um, bear with me on this one. I'm trying to work out how to copy this. Uh, so I'll copy it from over here down to the other end. So it's it's going to be too high eventually, but I'm just going to uh, quickly copy this. So go up to there. So we do copy. And then what I'll do, I'll, I'll quickly increase it in height. So I'll stand on that block and paste it. So there we go. It's, it's increased to two blocks high, as you can see. Except for the outside edge, which didn't work. <sighs> All right, and then what we're going to do, we'll flip it over flip to the right and then we paste and that didn't work <laughs> so it's not working and I'll stand on the next one and then we'll paste it again there we go that's two blocks high and it's both on both sides minus the outside edge of course All right, so I've got to add that row of 28 All right, so I'll just add the row of 28 again like so and then double that in height they just love welded it. It never bloody works when you want it to. Right, there we go. That's that side. And I'll do the same on the other side. Really should look what I'm doing. Right, anyway, that's increased in height to two blocks high all the way around. And both outside edges are done. There you go. That is that small... Um, sort of a rise, really, in the deck. Um, if you look at it... Uh, if I fly over to the prototype... Actually, I'll finish, it, finish off what I'm doing first. And then I'll go over to... to how it should look. So that is that area done there and then you want to add a wood deck to it. So we we'll go from the top line of the uh, white again. So this is basically this area underneath is going to be redundant. So you can either cut this out you know, remove the wood blocks in the area we've just built. It's up to you but so I'm just going to leave it for now. But if you want to add the wood deck above so along the top line of the white you just add the wood blocks. Like so, and then just uh, carry on the same thing all the way to the back end. And I'll show you, uh, pardon me, use the uh, fill tool again. So I just use the fill tool to do the right thing. If I can find it, there it is. And there we go, that's the uh, wood deck all added there. And you can see it's a sort of raised platform. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to remove the wood blocks underneath and make the ceiling a bit higher underneath, it's up to you. Um, it probably would probably work better if you did it like that, but uh, that's that. Um, and then on the side, you've got the row of 28 along the side. What I'm going to do now is to remove a block there and build two out 
or three out rather. No, sorry, build two out with wood, and then add a white block, and then a white block underneath. And then we get some quartz stairs, or white stairs, or wood stairs. I use wood stairs because I think that's probably the more advisable thing. And we'll add a stair block there and a stair block there. And on the other side, we add a stair block and a stair block like that. So you got uh, stairs access like that. And then we add two blocks there and two blocks there, two blocks there and two blocks there. And there you go. There's your access point. You can you can remove them if you want to. You can just have stairs like that. But I'll put them back. So you've got uh, access to that area there, so you can just walk along the deck and up onto the platform here. So that's that, and I'll do the same on the other side, so i just make sure I line this up properly, up to that point. That is right in there, yep. We add wood block, wood block, white block, white block, and then stairs, stairs, and then stairs, stairs, and then white blocks for the outside, like that. And there we go, that is the uh, access to the upper platform. And uh, that is pretty much all the building I'm going to do today. I was going to do the uh, windows, uh, portholes along the white uh, side of the white section, which is on the section below. But don't worry, I will get round to that uh, eventually. I just want to get the big builds out of the way. But uh, that platform there is done for the moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fly over to the prototype so you can see what the, the uh, finished platform looks like. Now, I'm not filled out with huge amounts of detail but uh, it, it don't look too bad so I just fly over and as you can see that's pretty much it really it's got uh, the handrails around it and uh, that's pretty much it with these funny funnel things but uh, and I have done the, de the design of the white walls here slightly differently but it's up to you what you want to do but that is the uh, that platform there done and uh, those windows I was just explaining about are the ones down here on the white section underneath um, there's basically groups of six and groups of five um, but I will explain them later on there's also a couple of bigger windows over there but we'll, we'll worry about them another day we just want to get the big business out of the way so we've got uh, plenty done today not as much as yesterday but uh, hey hey there we go so I'm just going to fly back to the front end <coughs> excuse me and then we shall close it there so that is uh, got the bridge wings wheelhouse, boat deck superstructure and the funnel support done and also the uh, bridge deck area there so that's part 7 done this is part is it part 7 or part 6 I can't remember but uh, anyway the next part which is either part 7 or part 8 I think it's part 8 the next one I really should write these things down but uh, the next one part 8 I'm pretty sure will be the second funnel support and funnel number 3 support as well as a large deck house that goes on the top of the superstructure um, maybe the funnels as well. I just want just to get the big business out of the way. So maybe the funnels in the next part as well, uh, which there are three, um, and then we can start focusing on some of the smaller details because uh, we are getting quite a way along with the uh, detailing here. But uh, yeah, that'll be for another day. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for today. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing, and I shall return in part eight or part seven, whichever one it is. So, um, yeah, this is me disappearing, and I shall return then, so uh, bye for now.